Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the top four ways to handle an internet lead. You don't wanna miss this. Okay guys, so listen, the first thing that we're gonna start out with is look, you gotta dial and make the calls. If you got a phone number, you've got to make the calls. Look guys, the phone won't bite you. I've never seen a phone bite somebody, all right? I see so many people that'll make one phone call on an internet lead. Let me explain to you. When I made 700 grand a year selling cars, what I did when a lead came in, it was buy or die. Let me explain why. The lead wouldn't have been created and came in if they didn't have an itch to maybe buy a car at some point. So it was my job to scratch that itch. So what I had to do is make sure that I got in contact, especially if I got a phone number. If somebody is going to give you their phone number, it means that they're okay with you to call them. We're gonna talk about later in this video about answering through video, through text messaging, through email. This is for the phone. So the first number one way that you've got to get in contact with somebody if you have a phone number is through the phone. Now this is normally how a lead goes. Lead comes in, obviously I wanna to get to the lead within the first two minutes. Whatever that triggered them to create that lead created an emotion that made them push the lead in. You've gotta get them while they're hot. Don't let them cool off. People that allow, you know, I would say late lead response times are, are losing it. And they're losing it to the better dealers that know speed, which is 2021, life's about speed. Get in contact with them fast. So if you got a phone number, you always wanna make the call quick. Hey, what's going on? It's Andy, I just saw that you um, entered in some information about getting some information. Look, I can give you that. I'm extremely great at what I do, but I know exactly what you want. When you're calling on a certain vehicle like this, I can tell you about this, that, this, 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 whatever. If it just came in as a blank lead, then you just wanna start it out that way. But if they gave you some information like, you know, what's the horsepower, what's my trade worth, what would be your best price, what's the financing options, then obviously you wanna talk about that right out the gate because that's what what they're interested in. Hey, what's going on? It's Andy. I saw that you were talking about financing options. Look, number one, I, I'm real familiar with all of that. Before I go into that, let me ask you a question real quick. We have some, actually some incentivized rates you can get if you have X, Y, and Z models. What are you currently driving so I can make sure that I give you the best rate possible? Now I'm allowing the sale to open before I close it. Now listen, if you don't get a hold of somebody, okay, this is where salespeople, sales associates, top sales pros fall off. You have got to continue to call every two hours on the hour, every two hours until they get in touch with you. Look, this is so important. This is why most don't make it. And that's why I wanna tell you that what you may do is call now, but do you call every two hours until you make contact? Look, if I work from nine o'clock till 6 p.m. and I get off at 6 p.m. and I called that customer at nine, 11, one, three, and five, and I haven't got a hold of them, listen, I will call them again at night from eight o'clock at my house because I assure you they are at home and at that point, all I need them to do is I'll say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm not at work, but I wanted to contact you. Obviously, you wouldn't have reached out if it wasn't important to you. I'm at home with my family. I wanted to make a quick call to you and see if I could arrange a phone call with you tomorrow morning or if you could just come into the dealership. Look, you're so important to you. I wanted to call you from the house and I was with my family because that's the kind of business that we do. Look, we serve customers at the highest level. We give world-class customer service. And I hope this shows you that. And guess what? Be different. Don't just work your job. Make this a career. So the first thing I want to teach on handing an, handling an internet lead response is by using the phone. And if you don't get a hold of them on the first try, you stay until they say, don't call me again. Okay? People are busy. They wouldn't have put the lead in if they didn't want to talk to you. Just remember that. So stay in, in front of them until they're ready to talk. And if you do, guess what? You're not annoying them. They just don't have time to talk yet. But as long as you'll do your job and you'll stay there with them, when you do get a hold of them, you will make that sell. Okay guys, listen, and this is a little bonus for you, for you one percenters that are gonna watch the video all the way through. At the very end, I told you it was the top four. I lied to you, I got a top five. And I'm gonna give it to you at the end of number four. You don't wanna miss this. This is a freaking game changer. Your competition isn't doing it. 
Okay guys, so number two is gonna be text messaging. Text messaging is extremely important. Look, most of my customers, they enjoy working off of text message. The reason why, they wanna make a call, right? But everybody's busy. Look, whenever people send you a message and you're at work or a lead when it comes in, a lot of the times, number one, we're gonna go to the phone immediately. Nothing's ever gonna beat the phone. Nothing will ever replace the phone. When I'm on the phone, the transfer of emotion, I can take the way I feel and I can push it into you. I can't do that through text messages what I'm gonna put an explanation point hey I'm so excited you reached out explanation point right so on the phone you can be like oh my gosh man look I'm so glad you reached out you know they can hear that but the phone if we can't get a hold of them we've got to go to text message that's number two so I call no one answers I send a text message I fired out right away okay now let me tell you kind of what my text message would be like hey mr. Johnson I saw that you just reached out I try to call you really fast Please let me know when you're free. I am here to serve you at the highest level. My name is John. Whatever. It could be, maybe they ask a specific question about interest rates. Leave a little bait out there for them, okay? Hey, Mr. Johnson, I saw you just inquired about some interest rates. I just left you a message or I just called your phone. I know you're busy. Please call me immediately. I've got some great news on the interest rates. Leave it out there like that. Now, also, Here's what I'll tell you. When we're talking about cell phones, where we can send text messages, I also would recommend you sending an image, okay? I have a picture of myself, all right? People need to say, see who they're dealing with. How many times has, have you inquired about buying something or some information, you received a text message and it was just ad copy? It was just a response all the time. When's the last time Someone sent you a text message and also a pleasant picture of them showing who they are so you can match what they're saying with the face. Never. This is next level, guys. You wanna be the best? You wanna be the best in the world at converting leads and handling internet lead responses? Check this out. Go get a picture of yourself. Get a nice picture. Smile with your eyes, smile. Take that picture and send it over right behind your ad copy. That picture is always saved in your phone under albums. So it's real easy. I send a text message, boom, right behind it, I pop a picture of me. Why? So that they can match what I'm saying with the face. That right there will guarantee you twice, twice the power of someone getting back with you. So I just wanna say this to you. No one's ever told you to do that. I do it all the time, and to me, I'm a great person to deal with. Why not let people see your face and that you're that great person to deal with? Guys, this is text messaging. Send a photo of you behind it. Okay guys, check this out. Number three is gonna be video. We're gonna do a phone call. We're gonna blast off a text message. It's gonna have a picture of ourselves with the text. And then three, we're gonna go to video. All right, now let me explain something to you, all right? I know, and a lot of you know this already, so I'm just giving you information you already know, but let me just share it with you in case you didn't. So you have an iPhone, right? And you wanna make a video of yourself. If you make a 45 second video, 30 second video, and you send it to a customer, if they've got an Android, it isn't gonna go through, or when it does go through, through, it'll go through distorted. All right, I wanna share that with you. This is really important for you. If you have an Android and you go to send it to someone with an iPhone, it's gonna go through distorted, all right? So what do you wanna do? You wanna have some kind of video sending software. I know some people have like Bomb, Bomb. you know, Chad Morgan has like Quick Pages, right? Quick Pages is great, I love Quick Pages. It's really cool. The idea of it is, is that your company or you as an individual needs to have something set up that you literally can send video through where it comes through nice, clean, and clear, and not distorted, okay? Because you don't know what kind of phone your customer has, all right? And if the, and if the video is too big, it won't go through, and then there's a good chance that it will go through distorted. But number three, leverage video, please. As you're looking at me right now, you can only imagine that if you inquired about a refrigerator, about a car, or about anything, right? Can you see the passion I have for what information I, I'm giving you? Yeah, because I believe in it. And I think that whatever it is that you get from me will serve you really well. You'll have lots of value for the money that you're spending. And I seem like somebody who's pleasant to deal with. Most people, when they go to buy something, they don't find someone that they like. They just find someone to give them the product, which is why you get so much What's your best price stuff? Okay, it's because a salesperson hasn't clearly done their job and there's been no connection. Video gives you the chance to create familiarity and connection before you connect. How cool is that? 
So this is what I want you to do. Create and make video, all right? So it's like, guy, guy calls on a Ford Fusion, right? We called him, he didn't answer. We sent him a text message with an image, and then we now we're sending him a video. And the video is pretty simple. I'm gonna grab my iPhone, I'm gonna grab my phone, and I'm gonna walk outside, I'm gonna get in front of the Ford Fusion, I'm gonna say, hey Mr. Johnson, listen, it's Andy, you asked me about the Ford Fusion, you sent me a lead, I called you, sent you a text message, I wanted to show you that the car's still here, I have it, I put my hands on it, I just drove it down the road to get a cup of coffee, one to 10, it's an 11, you're gonna love it. Look, I know everything about it, please reach out to me, my direct personal cell phone that's sitting right here on my hip, 999-999-9999. I'll wait to, to hear from you. I can't wait to serve you at the highest level. Talk to you very soon. Boom! You take that and you send it through a video sending platform, which most of your dealerships have if they're keeping up to speed. If they don't, you can get one as a salesperson. Look, I'm gonna give you my cell phone, okay? It's 918-210-0254. I can hook you up with somebody, if you're a salesperson and your dealership doesn't have video sending software, I can hook you up with a company that for like $29 a month, like you can have your own video sending system so that you as a salesperson can send your own videos all the time if you don't have one in your dealership. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text, I'll handle it. Anyways, let's move back to this. Video is extremely important. You get to build familiarity, you get to build connection, and you get to show them that you're doing what your competition isn't doing. Remember this, I always say this, and you'll hear this a million times. If you do what your competition's doing, if they see you as their competition, they'll treat you like the competition. Be a one percenter, be different. Okay guys, so listen, number four is gonna be email. Now remember this, I'm gonna give you a tip and a bonus here in a minute. Number five, I didn't tell you about. I kinda snuck that in, because I love you guys. So number four, I'm gonna talk about email real quick. Okay, now remember on the second part, our, our, our video, when I talked about sending text messages, right, when you're on your phone, and I said send a picture of you? We're almost gonna do the same thing here with email. We're gonna create familiarity. Now listen, a lot of you get leads that come in that are only email. It's like John Johnson, he sent us an email, what's your best price? We don't have a phone number, we can't send a text, we can't call, we can't even send a video, unless you have a video sending platform, which is okay to do on email, we could send that, e that video first, but just firing out an email to that guy, we're gonna send everybody an email, that'll be the fourth way we get a hold of somebody, but if it's just an email lead, remember, familiarity, a picture of you is necessary. Always have a nice picture of yourself saved on your computer, right? Remember that one where you're sitting back, right? That shows them how cool you are, how you're like awesome and your competition's not and everyone else that they've talked to, right? They can't connect with because they're only shopping online, but they're shopping online with you. They've seen you and they felt like they know you. So I would respond back with an email. Hey, Mr. Johnson, I saw that you reached out to me. I want to give you all the information you need. Here's my direct cell phone number. I'm available 24 hours a day. I'm available nine to five, whatever. This is when I'm available. When can we jump on a quick 30 second phone call? Write that down. When can we jump on a quick 30 second phone call? This is my cell phone number. Could you please text me? I would love to arrange that with you. Fire out a picture of you underneath that email and I will assure you, okay? You won't sound scripted. You won't sound canned. You don't sound like your competition. You're doing things differently than your competition. So you won't be treated or, or seen as the competition. They will treat you different. They'll treat you like family. Okay guys, number five. This right here is what you've been waiting for. This is something that I assure you, your competition doesn't know about and they're not doing. So, when someone contacts you, we've gone through the four steps now on how to get a hold of that customer. Now look, you haven't been able to get in contact, what do you do next? Do you be like the competition and you just stop trying? I mean, listen, these customers clearly want to buy something. Either they're already working a deal with someone else, which is why they haven't reached out to you yet, because someone else beats you to them, or they're just truly extremely busy and they haven't been able to reply. Well, here's what I'll tell you. Everybody scrolls on social media. Would you agree? Yes. John Johnson, that guy, you know what he's doing? 
He's not, he's not answering the text message because he's at work. He's not answering the call because he's at work. He hasn't answered the email yet because he hadn't talked to his wife. But you know what he's been doing? Scrolling on his Facebook page. So my deal is if I live in Memphis, Tennessee, and John Johnson hit me up, I'm pretty sure John's probably local. He's somewhere around me in a 50 mile radius. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Facebook and I'm gonna try to find John Johnson. I'm gonna try to find him. And if I find him, I'm gonna message him on Messenger. I'll even send him a friend request. And he can tell that someone from the dealership that he sent a lead to is trying to get in contact with him. It shows the true persistence of customer service. It's not seen. And some of you may say, well, isn't that going too far? Maybe like pestering somebody? No, it's not. It's actually a customer service level that this business has missed for so long that these people aren't gonna think that way. They're gonna think, my gosh, when has someone tried this hard to try to take care of me? Never. I'll go to LinkedIn, I'll go to Facebook, I'll go to Instagram. I will try to find them and that will be my fifth attempt on getting in communication with them. Hey, I'm not sure if you lost your phone, you might be extremely busy. I know everybody's on Facebook. I wanted to reach out and just tell you, I appreciate you, I'm here for you, I've got all the information you wanted. This is my direct cell phone number. Please contact me when you're free. Have a blessed day. Boom, you're different than your competition. You're gonna get different results than your competition. Look, some people make up reasons, some people get results. Reasons of why you shouldn't do this, why you shouldn't call that many times, why you know you may not want to you know stay in touch with these people in that many ways. Look, I get results. Results are what matters. The scoreboard is what matters. As a top sales associate, if someone is in your niche, your territory, your market, they need to know who you are, how great you are, what you do, where you're at, how great you are at what you do. By continually going through all of these processes to get in touch with them, you will be seen as the one percenter indifferent. And that way, you'll get one percenter results. Hope you love this video. Hope this helps you crush it and kill it answering internet lead responses.